while I won't reveal exactly where I am, eventually everybody will know. But I got a spot so good. It's a spot so good. It's like it's it's um it's a quiet area. Um, you know, I stood outside to see the the vibration of the police. Like, are they just gonna stop me? Which the funny thing is, you know, there's a big thing about loitering. He's loitering. It's like. What is loitering? What is this European thing of loitering in America? Why is there a law of loitering? Why? No, 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 no. It's not. It's against, it's against the law to loiter in places where people don't want you. And there are dangers, of course, but the thing is, there's so much control in this culture. It's like control of really bizarre things while people like Matt Field can sell women. Like, it's so weird. It's like there's no control over selling human beings, but there's a lot of control over who gets benefits or who gets to see their children. Um, there's not a lot of control over corporate abandoning people that they've had on staff like Miss Tracy or something like that at Burger King in Alpharetta. They let her go after 20 years of service. And yes, I posted a video on the internet and the reason was Miss Tracy was going to give me a job, but the person who owned the franchise didn't like me because he had jealousy over Sartese. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I said, tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you. Satu is my friend. She's my best friend. So it's like our relationship is like, it's like silly putty. That shit gonna stretch. And if a piece pops off, you just roll over, pick it up, and just let that shit settle in. That's my relationship with Sartu Osman. I found the gray hair that turned black. I really don't understand this concept. Maybe coronavirus is more than what we think it is. Maybe it's a philosophical, a philosophical, philosophical, I don't know how to say that word. Philosoph ah! Philosophy. Maybe it's a philo Ah, there's a way to say the shit. There is a way to say it. Damn. Ah, ah, shit. Um Maybe it's an allegory for like, you know, you only have enough time because if you think about it, our bodies are designed to live forever. So, why do they stop working? Maybe coronavirus is a time for people to get their morals together so that they can experience life without death. Maybe nothing has actually changed about the way we actually function and live. Maybe the virus is just the common cold. And I don't know. But I don't understand the swelling symptoms that some people have talked about. But you don't see people with those symptoms on the street. But I have to also...